Hello, I wanted to take you through a quick tour of uh, Storify, which you'll be using throughout the class to uh, assemble your various assignments. Uh, first, I wanted to show you this is the home page you'll land on once you establish your account and log in. Um, when you do create Storifies, it will show you ones you have created. Uh, I want to just show you this one really quick that I have uh, have on the digital skills gap and um, it, it, it creates this nice uh, header um, from the first image that you put in. It grabs that and puts it as the image for the background here. Um, and then I have these various text boxes where I have done some of my own writing uh, and I have also brought in from social media uh, different things that help illustrate what I'm trying to say. For example, um, this study I was talking about was actually sponsored by Capital One and Burning Glass and on their um, Facebook page they had this great graphic that really helped illustrate some of the things that the report was talking about. So I, I grabbed that. Uh, I also uh, created a little section for possible solutions to the digital skills gap and there were articles. Now instead of just having the URL uh, I was able to pull these over in a more visual um, presentation so that's that's a little more engaging for your reader. I was also able to make my own video which I uploaded to my YouTube account and then I I just um, dragged it over and, and it became part of my Storify. So um, I wanted to show you what a completed one looked like. Now for you to get started uh, you will just click on the screen new story button and that will take you into the work area. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and create a headline for this. Um, I'm going to make it relevant to this class so I will say my Benedictine identity. Uh, I could enter the description here uh, but I think I'm just going to put my byline here. And then uh, if I wanted to add more uh, text boxes I could just click here uh, and it will bring up this text box. I um, The first week is uh, talks about the hallmark, hallmarks of uh, prayer and love of Christ and neighbor so I am just going to uh, choose prayer here um, as a little subheading and I'm going to go over here to the right hand side of the screen which shows all these um, various social media sites uh, that I can search and find uh, information to support uh, what I've written about so let's say um, I want to uh, embellish my my writing about prayer with maybe a video from YouTube. So I'm going to click on the YouTube link here and search it and I'm going to say prayer um, Benedictine hallmarks and see what comes up. Uh, if you just searched prayer it might be a little too broad. Uh, so here is a uh, video on what it's like to be inside a Catholic Benedictine monastery. If I want to preview it, I would just click on this link and it will open it into a, a, a different uh, tab in my browser and allow me to preview it and watch it. And if I decide this is the one I want to use, I go back to my Storify. And um, you know you don't want to click again because this will bring you back to to the page it's on. But if you move your cursor over, and it becomes the four arrows pointing in all directions, then you can click and drag. And I'm going to drag that under my prayer subheading there, and there is uh, my video really easily and quickly. Um, I could also go to Instagram, for example. Uh, and it may ask you to log in to Instagram. Uh, here are some Instagrams on prayer. Um, you can, you know, it'll only show you so many results at a time. Um, 
but you can uh, you can search through those. Uh, maybe this is the one I like, so I'm just going to click on that and drag it over here. So um, those are the different um, elements that you can put into your Storify to help tell your story. Uh, you, as I said earlier, if you click on the more here, you can also embed a URL. Um, let's uh, let's just go to like Ben. Dot edu and see what that URL brings up. Um, so there it is. So see, it gives a little bit more of a visual. Um, so if I wanted to use this once again, if, uh, if I have the four arrows, I can just click and drag that over. And now it's not just simply a link. It has a, a visual tied to it. So I, I hope this brief overview has helped you uh, get started. And if you have any um, uh, questions about Storify, there, there's a lot of uh, resources on the internet, um, tips and, and different uh, videos on how to do things. Uh, but also you can email your instructor. Um, one thing that I might add um, at the end here is that when you do publish, and you click the Publish button, um, you can view, uh, it shows you your story has been published successfully. Um, you can view it and um, publicize it. And so there is um, the one we just created. And you'll notice that since that My Secret is Simple I Pray uh, visual is what I it grabbed for my header, that might not be what I really want. So I may go back and change that first image to something more uh, visual. Thanks a lot for listening.